can see people are getting a little bit chilly now. You can see in the background the officials doing everything they can to stay warm. Yeah, some people forget about that sometimes. They think about the athletes they see that were not wearing that many clothes, but these officials are standing out here all night long. They've been here all day, and, you know, they are cold. They're cold, too. Uh, so it's great to see the officials, you know, doing such a great job, making it possible to see this amazing climbing. And so here goes Nikolai Kozovlev, the 33-year-old Russian. Even from just three competitions, he finished sixth overall last year, taking a sixth place in Rabenstein, a fourth place in Sazfe, and a fifth place in Chongsong. And he is making short work of the beginning of this route. He's just cruising up the wall right now. We'll see if he uh, maintains this momentum. Uh, if he does, then uh, you know we might see. Well, I'm, I'm just going to stop talking. Right now. <laughs> To give you an idea about how cold it really is, the temperature outside is 14 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, in real money, that's <laughs> minus 10 degrees Celsius. The production team are uh, all enjoying that. I can tell you that for free. <laughs> Nikolai Kuzovlev seemingly unfazed by the cold conditions. Place is his pick in the top of that small hold in that tiny edge where we saw Alexei Tomilov really talking uh, the head of the axe in. High on the shaft there, Nikolai Kozovlev. Matching in low with the left hand. Really well read for that match. But he switches it round anyway. Makes the high clip. And then we're going to see that big, powerful move out to the right-hand side where Noah Bake looked totally in his element, as does Nikolai Kozovlev. Matches in. Drops in the fig four. And this gives you an idea of the physicality and the difference in height and stature. Noah Bake and Maxim Tomolov are a similar height, but Nikolai Kozovlev is significantly shorter. Opting to use the fig four for the more stable position to take that intellect hold. Let's see what he makes of this next move. Strong into that backhand with the left. Turns it into an undercut with the right. Leans away from it, all his body facing away, keeping that center of gravity close to the wall. Makes the clip and then reclips onto the next one. Of course, having to clip in sequence. If you don't clip in sequence, then it's not going to work. Ernie Lalonde has uh, commented on the Facebook feed. He said, Great climb, Noah. Leanne Kundal, also a big fan of Noah. Great work. Elizabeth Elsinger Ross has got in touch to say, Great job, Noah. Tammy Yakimovich is getting in touch to say super awesome climb Noah people are really really loving Noah Bake's performance and rightly so he's done his fans and his family and the crowd proud don't forget if you want to get in touch then you can do so on Facebook by leaving a comment and if you're using Twitter there's a hashtag you might have heard it it's UIAA Ice Climbing very easy to do stick that in your tweet post and uh, we will be uh, reading out the best tweets, the best questions, answering them if we can. Nikolai Kuzovlev at this point looking really strong as he goes over to the right hand side of the hold instead of the left. Switches and matches with his axe. Nearly slipped but managed to hold it together. Great composure from the Russian. It doesn't seem to have phased him very much. It he slipped a little bit all. there but got it right back under control and it looks like he's still moving very quickly. Makes the clip at the right hand, left hand side of that Durango volume. Three minutes and 55 on the clock. So he's moving much faster than Noah was. But probably slightly slower than Alexei Tomilov was at this stage. His experience and uh, extra years of climbing showing. Noah, in fact, only been climbing for three years, which is quite remarkable considering he's made a final within three years of beginning climbing. He Strong that onto right that. Away. So easy into that move. Very powerful Nikolai Kuzovlev. It'll be interesting to see what Nikolai Kuzovlev does at this point on the boxes because he's much shorter than Maxim and Alexei. 
San Juan Mountain Guides have got in touch to say that they're watching from Ure. Great to have you on board, guys. Yeah, he's much shorter, but doesn't seem to be affecting him very much. He is moving through these boxes very quickly, uh, very confidently. And with lots of time on the clock, at this point, Nikolai Kuzovlev could be climbing his way to the podium. Let's see what he makes of this next move. The one thing to point out is that that next quick draw has not been clipped yet, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I, I don't think Maxime or Alexi clipped it. Not 100% sure, but if he can make that clip, then that's going to put him ahead in the rankings. And it looks like he's going for that right now. Now, he made that look very easy. And in fact, that leads me to believe that maybe Maxime and Alexi did clip it. And I've just got a cloudy memory. Won't be the first time I've been wrong, and it certainly won't be the last. Nevertheless, let's see what he makes of this next move as he throws the left leg over for a fig nine. Just trying to work out exactly what he's doing with two minutes remaining hanging on that first cube, tentatively waiting to see what to do with that second cube. The crowd really getting behind him now. And we'll see if he can see this blue hold on the corner. And there the he is, box. look, pushing away to get that box going, get the swing going. Pulls the wood and draws over into the fig nine. And he's stuck oh. it. Oh no, he's off. So close. But that was in more control than Maxim, I believe. That was definitely more control. You see that he was trying to move into that. It'll be up to the judges to decide. But from our perspective up here on the monitor and from the commentary position, it does look like that was in more control. Yeah, it's always up to the judges uh, to make the final decision. Uh, but from here, that looked like some very solid climbing. It'd be interesting to get the judges' interpretation of the rule on them using the axe on the box as well, because technically, you're not allowed to place your axe in the wood, and they are hooking the box to get it to swing. Yeah, you're not allowed to... Uh, the way I've understood it is yeah. you're not allowed to use the box as a hold. Uh, whether or not you're allowed to you know, poke and grab and swing to try to get it to change positions, uh, that should be interesting. So here's that replay and that great action. Looking so casual and really strong. And he it just, we can see where he almost slipped earlier, but that did not phase him at all. And moving into these boxes, uh, just controlling the swing and doing such a great job. And then here we can see, again, trying to move on to that hold and just popping off. Like I said earlier, I think uh, from my definitely unofficial uh, perspective that that was a very uh, good position. Puts him uh, pretty high up there in the rankings. 